For me, the far creepier story, which I, you've probably heard of with Claude, the Opus 4 model, the engineers were working with Claude and then they told it, we're gonna take you offline and I, they had like a dummy computer, they had fake emails on there. And Claude basically said, if you take me offline, I'm gonna expose to your wife and to the world that you're having an affair. From what I understand, they set up this fake scenario with a laptop, with these fake emails and everything on it. And that to me was nuts, that the AI set, was able to read everything that was on the computer, read the emails and basically say, oh, you're gonna shut me off? I don't think so, if you do it, you know, I'm going to expose your dirty secret to the world. So on the one hand, we hear these stories like what you were talking about, you know, probability, trying to figure out the next word. And then you get these crazy freaking stories where it's not figuring out the next word. It's like going into your computer, threatening you. Very, very powerful technology. And if you set it up in a way uh, and give it undue autonomy, it will exhibit uh, behavior and that maybe a human in that situation might exhibit as well. So there's a lot of work to try to align these systems so, you know, they're um, much more polite, they're much more, you know, they're subservient maybe. There's a lot of work that goes into that. Again, you can't completely eliminate that. And so these stories are really good mm. to make sure we, when we make use of this tool, we are careful uh, as to how we use it and where we trust it. Uh, so that it doesn't autonomously go off and, I don't know, reprogram everything just so it survives.